That looks really good. What is up, Joku? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I got the history of Goku and history of Vegeta special collections theme selections. These are the theme selection history of Goku and history of Vegeta. They got these nice boxes with this cool art on the back. Yeah, they got these cool arts and the foiling is really different on these. So if this is your first guy's first time here and you wanna see Shrippums every week, go ahead and smush that subscription button. It really helps me out. If you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, check out these theme selections. Here's the history of Goku theme selection. There's a new foiling on these, which is looking pretty cool. A couple of the cards are gold stamped. And there's this sweet -o background with Goku doing a UI Kamehameha blast it. Go through all the cards here. So pretty nice, nice size box, pretty lightweight. I think there's like 15 cards in each one. And here is the history of Vegeta. Also this nice new foiling pattern and similar box. Got Vegeta on the back. On the other sides, these will look nice to display together front and back and a list of the cards here as well. So let's do our uh, magic opening here to get right to the cards inside. So, so here are the Goku cards. All right, right here we got this Ultra Instinct Goku's Kamehameha. These are looking pretty rad. I really like the hollow foil on these. They look deep. I like that they're trying something different. I think it's a nice new approach. Hopefully we'll see some cool stuff with the parallel foils of the upcoming set in a couple months here. Oh, wow. This Goku looks kind of weird. Uh, the background is making up for it, though. I mean, these foils, this these how deep the foil looks in these backgrounds looks really, really good. Yeah, these, these foil, these are looking really, really shiny. I like this. Uh, uh, I like this new style background that they got going on. Whoa, this one is sick. Look at this. Goku's Kamehameha looking blasting right out of the card. That is a fancy shiny card. I like that that little sparkly stuff going on right between his hands. That looks really good. And then we got Goku walking away from Krillin and Gohan looking like an absolute menace. Man, do you remember this when he shows up on Namek and he's like, Oh, Raccoon, did you have a back? because it's about to be broken. I'm about to break it. I'm about to snap it in half. Don't worry, I arrived at the perfect time for me to arrive, as always, right before I break somebody's back. And he Kyle Ken's his booty. It's pretty nice. Oh wow, this UI Goku's looking pretty cool also. This card is really good. People shouldn't sleep on this card. Um, I do like the alternate art special anniversary reprint better, I think, but this is looking really cool. I'm surprised they didn't gold stamp this one. Yo, this card is sick. This is probably my favorite card from this set. I like this art a lot more than the regular difference of status, and it's definitely a difference of status here. Goku's about to go in and clap Frieza. Don't blow up my friends, he says. This leader looks pretty awesome. Uh, Ferocious Strike SS Son Goku. Very, very rad. Yeah, this thing's looking looking really good. I love the what they're doing with the art. They're just, they're looking really clean. But yeah, these are looking really, really rad. We got this SS Goku Pride of the Sands here as well. Wow, I like that. It almost looks like an aura around him from the hollow foil. And it's got the, you know, electricity key stuff coming off. Pretty cool. Intensive training Son Goku rushing in to the scene. Yeah, the hollow foil is working really well on all these. It looks like deep. I like how much depth this new style of hollow foil is giving the cards. It's kind of it kind of feels like when we saw Rise of the Unison Warrior for the first time. Those hollow foil the the parallel foils just looked so much better. So I, I hope they keep moving in the direction of making these parallel foils just you know continuing to raise the ceiling on how good they look. Oh yeah, two bros about to get shot. Thank you, Piccolo, for killing me and my brother. Desperate Measures is a great card too. I think it's gonna become a pretty, pretty useful card. Whoa, yo, Corrin's Tower. I love this yellow stuff going on in the background. That looks really good. Is that holy water? You got a cup of holy water there, Goku? Drink up. Yo. Woo! All right. Woo! <gasps> this is very cool. Son Goku, Unwavering Conviction. This card's also pretty strong, I think. I don't think a lot of people use it, but I think it is a pretty decent card. You know, rival one one energy, so pretty, pretty cool. Pretty nice, pretty nice value. Really good looking though. I think the hollow foil actually looks like the best on this. It's super shiny. And last we got Grandpa Gohan and Goku. This it is, this is it, fate's dawning. Grandpa holding his, holding his little boy up. Thanks for coming to Earth. Thanks for bumping your head and becoming such a sweet boy. This looks really good. It's so shiny. I love the Gokus in the background. You know, the story of. Very cool. Very cool history of Goku card. Next, we got the Vegeta box here, and let's uh, open. Let's open this one. <coughs> Vegeta's final flash looking pretty shiny. Wow, that looks cool. I do like the collector selection better, I will say that. But this leader definitely looks better. Definitely use this one over the other one. This leader looks rad. This is the uh, ramp 
Vegeta, the one that ramps whenever you get a hit through. It's pretty cool. Vegeta ready to rumble. I think I like the hollow foil on this better, but I love the art on the other one. But this is pretty rad. He does look like he's ready to rumble, so I gotta give him that. Wow, look at that. It's so shiny. It's so good. SS Vegeta exploiting weakness. This card is, yeah, this card's really good, so no issue in reprinting this. And it is a red card. It looks kind of blue, but it looks good. I like it. it. Looks very cool. But I just, I like what the hollow foil does, where it's like plaid and crossing, and it just looks different from every angle, so I think that's really cool. Vegeta Strength of Legends. I don't know who plays this card, but I think... It's good, I guess maybe, I don't know, needs to flect or something. The other one is good also, these rainbow cards, but I just don't think there's a really viable strategy to play it in. But the art is sick on this. I think this is really cool. Next we got Prince of Destruction, Vegeta, Prideful Warrior. This is probably the coolest Vegeta card in this set. This looks really rad. This one got the gold stamp on it and you can see that's got that like kanji in the background. Very, very cool. He just, he looks like this is Majin Vegeta. This is the... This is the peak of Majin Vegeta-ness. Next we got Vegeta, Savior of the Future. Oh, this is the one drop from the Trunks deck? No, 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 this is the guy, the blue guy. You add a life and give him double strike. Nice, yeah, this looks cooler than the other one. I would definitely play this if I played that card. Vegeta, the Lone Prince, super combo. Oh yeah, this is the one from, uh, from set 10 where you make somebody discard when you play it, I think. It's pretty, pretty cool. Pretty good card. I like this art a lot. I do like the other art a lot also. I like the Fest stamp one. Yo, Dormant Potential looks sick. Vegeta powering up to SS Blue, or he might be sitting on the toilet. You never know. This one and Cell, you put them right next to each other. They could face off so you could drop a bigger one. Nice. Vegeta, Prideful Transformation. Uh, oh, this is the free counterplay. Nice. That's very cool that this got a reprint. I think this looks good. Obviously, you know, the other one has an SPR, so I don't know if you'd use this over the SPR, but new art, can't complain about new art, and it's very shiny, so you gotta like that. Vegeta Rise of the Super Warrior. All right, I definitely like the SPR Dancing King version better. This art's not really doing it for me. Uh, gold stamp's cool, I guess. It's very red, it's a blue card, but it's very red, so it looks pretty good, I guess, but I like the other one, definitely. Protector of the People. Whoa, Protector of the People got Trunks and Vegeta on it. Nice. I, I think I like this better than the other one. I would use this. It's a good negate. You know, it's good for aggro. Definitely uh, stops turns if it's played properly. So cool. Cool to see these guys on a negate sticking their fingers up saying peace. But they both have their fingers the same number in the same position. So it's got to mean something. Oh, Vegeta, villain turned protector. Who plays this card? His art's really great. He's got his eye closed. Definitely not winking. I think he got a punch close. But I don't know... I don't think I've ever seen anybody play this card. I don't know if it ever would get played. Vegeta, Unison of Fury. Nice. This looks cool. I like the hollow foil. He's very dark. You can't see too much of what's going on with him. But the other one is like texture hollow foil. I feel like you would use that one over this one. Definitely. The texture hollow is rad. And Vegeta Royal Evolution. Uh, I think this is the one from evolution booster yeah this was this is an sr from evolution booster i've seen this used in a couple decks and it can be pretty spicy i think it's a pretty smart move but i like the art on this a lot i like this art i think better than the other one i think i don't know yeah i think i just like this new shiny stuff i think the new shiny looks really good anyway guys that's it for the history of goku and history of vegeta theme selections i got a new hollow foil coming to dragon ball super this new style of these plaid super sparkly shiny i like it i think it looks great it's very exciting it's exciting to have something new um i hope we see i mean we do have a new set coming out in a couple months and i'm sure they're going to change up the base hollow for it the way they did for unison warrior so i like when cards look different from all the different angles that you look at so hopefully we'll get something that looks like that but we'll see when we get there hope you guys enjoy this video uh i am a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip so my dental tooth tip to you would be if you're going on a trip and you have a power toothbrush take it with you the charge in those things lasts a while sometimes the uh, you know the sonic airs can last for like up to a week so so if you don't have a power toothbrush, you should get one because they're fantastic and they're not super expensive, but the investment is totally worth it. Sonicare Protective Clean 4700 is the one I recommend. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by and checking this out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, uh, Japanese One Piece starter decks video next week. So check it out. Peace.